Hi everyone, it's Microwave Sam. In this video, I'll show you a problem that I just got on my computer when I boot into Windows 8. Now this problem is famously known as the blue screen of death. The blue screen can have different error messages, but most normally it has just a system service exception. And I'm going to show a tutorial of how to fix this problem and get your computer back and running without losing any files. Now when you boot up into Windows 8, you get the blue screen and it says system service exception or some other error. So now that you've seen the error, now we're going to go through the steps to fix this problem. First thing you need is you can create a bootable USB flash drive of Windows 8. So my operating system is Windows 8. Now this fixing, this troubleshooting should work for Windows 7 or Windows 8, but you need a USB bootable flash drive or a disk of the Windows 8 operating system. Uh, the reason why you need this is that the Windows 8 operating system contains a suite of recovery tools that we'll be using. So grab that USB flash drive, make a bootable instance of Windows 8 or Windows 7, depending on your operating system. I have many tutorials to do that, and you can check them on my channel, and I'll leave a link in the description. After you get your Windows USB flash drive, you put it into your computer, Turn on that computer, press F12 to get into the boot options. Now it might be a different key for you, but you go maneuver to USB storage device, hit enter, and you will boot into your bootable flash drive of Windows 8. Now the reason we get this Windows 8 ISO and put it on that USB flash drive and boot into it is because we want to use the repair tools inside the Windows 8 setup disk. So it's going to boot up into Windows 8 setup but there's going to be spot where you can use the suite of recovery tools that Windows 8 provides and also Windows 7 provides similar tools so if you have a problem with the blue screen for Windows 7 then you can follow the same steps now we press next at this prompt and then we click on repair your computer now over here you want to go to troubleshoot go to advanced options and the first thing that you want to try out is startup repair. Now startup repair tries to fix the problems. You select your operating system and it's going to diagnose your PC and try to do some error checking to see if it's recoverable using just a simple error checking. Windows 8 is going to do use the tool, look to see what errors are in the boot process and then fix the boot process. But you might get Windows couldn't load correctly so you need to restore. Now restoring will bring you to another prompt but if your computer worked, if error checking actually succeeded, try to restart your computer and see if it turns on. But for my problem, I needed to restore to a previous point of history to make my computer work. Error checking was not the issue here. There wasn't anything that error checking could do for me. So I needed to go to this next step to restore. So Start Repair offers you a restore option but couldn't repair your PC. Now you go to ne this next step, Advanced Options, Troubleshoot again, go to Advanced Options, and then click on System Restore, and then click on Windows 8.1. The great thing about System Restore is it just restores settings, right? It's not going to erase some files. Maybe uninstall some programs, but not erase files. Now you can select Restore Points, and it gives you the date and time at the left and some description. Now, if you leave that checkbox, then you can see previous more history. But I'm going to click on the topmost, which happened yesterday, 12.9. Today is 12.10. And then I can see the affected programs that it's going to change. And then press next and try this out. Now, I hit finish, and it's going to restore the point. Now, it's not going to delete files. Maybe I'll uninstall some programs if that's what happened in the restore point. But then I get this error. Now some restore points don't work. So this is all about the incremental troubleshooting process. I'm gonna restart my computer and boot back into. Now I turn back my computer, boot into the bootable USB flash drive by going to F12 again, boot options, maneuvering to USB storage device, clicking on that. I'm gonna boot into the Windows 8 setup and try the recovery tool again to restore my computer to a system restore point but an earlier one because the original one that I tried just previously as you saw did not work 
an error popped up, I'm going to try an earlier one. Now, you won't lose files. Again, I stress this. You won't lose important files. Maybe you created some text or documents. You won't lose those. All you might lose are some programs. Like, let's say you installed Microsoft Word, and that was the restore point. Then you're going to lose Microsoft Word, and you're going to reinstall it again. Troubleshoot, go back to Advanced Options, go to System Restore, Windows 8.1. It's going to start System Restore. Click Next on this prompt. And now, check that box. Go to an earlier restore point, hit next, and see if any errors pop up, and then hit finish. Once started, system restore can't be stopped. So you do system restore. It seems like it's working right now. So hopefully this works, and then my computer can boot back into Windows 8. When it comes to these blue screen problems, you need to you you don't want to delete everything on your computer and then reinstall Windows 8. Okay, so system restore finish. I fast forwarded. It took about 30 minutes or so, and now it says that system restore uh, completed successfully. System has been restored to that date, and now you can restart. Your documents have not been affected. Only system settings have been affected, and maybe some uninstallation and installation programs. Now, if you boot back into Windows 8, it should be running properly, and you fixed the Windows 8. You didn't have to delete everything and do a clean install of Windows 8. That's that's unnecessary. So you just wait until Windows 8 pops up and it might take a while to boot up because Windows 8 has just finished doing all these configurations and restoring your computer basically back to that point. So it's gonna take a little a little while longer to boot up into your normal computer. Now you just have to wait until that's done but without that blue screen you can do what you need to do. Uh, so what did I want to say? So Windows 8 is now back and running and it's gonna take a while. So it's working, my Windows 8 pops up and I can log in, I can use my computer. But to go over what we've just done, first is we use Windows Recovery. We use the Windows Setup to access the Startup Repair Tools. First Startup Repair Tool that we tried was Windows Error Checking or Windows Startup Repair, which is just a overall repair process it didn't work so then we moved on to restore and then we restored to a system point we tried one didn't work then we tried another one it did work and now I can boot back into my computer so thanks for watching one hopefully this helped you I'm trying to help you and get your computer back and running get that blue screen out of the way so thanks for watching please rate comment subscribe and hopefully it helped you